Architect, is this the world that you intended? That too close! Meh! If we just a bit higher, it would have hit us! Where did... More Ardain. Impossible. Your Majesty, are you hurt? What happened? The Titan just released a vast amount of energy from its chest. We think the brownout may be linked to that. Majesty, we strayed off course, but we managed to confirm our current position. Where are we? Look! That's... Again. Curses. More Ardain can't afford to lose any more energy. It's glowing. Is it going to shoot again? That is not good. The Ardanian Titan is said to be at the end of its lifespan. If it were to release any more of the ether energy stored within its body... What would happen? It would collapse, its joints giving way under its own weight. Even Titans? Echos, over there! What? Uriah? Curse that amount! This is every Titan under his control? My queen, is that the world tree? More ordained in the. What the blazes is going on out there? This is madness. Does he mean to gather all the titans in one place? Akos, Petroka, Mick, go, go, keep Jin and Milo safe. What is this? All of a sudden, we must be ready for the worst. But what about Indol? They're gathering Titans from. I'll deal with it. Deal with it. Alone? Don't be a fool. It's fine. I put this all together in the first place, remember? I can control everything from here. Besides, I'm not exactly alone here. Mick! Go, and do what I can't. Okay! Petroka! Petroka! 
I love you. You are so gross, Mick. Make sure you come back alive so I can punch you for saying that. That's a deal. Shit, it's... That shape. It is just like a titan. You old fool! Here I come! So it begins. Now's the time. Let's get after Jin. But the Titans. Rex, let's focus on what we can do right now. Morag? Don't worry. The Emperor is my brother, after all. I'm on it. All right, then. Hey, everybody. Or feel us here. Welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. As one may already guess, a lot of plot stuff happened last time. So much so, well, as you can see, chaos is a brewing out there. Yeah, a lot of stuff is going on. Anyways, that is the end of chapter 8. So, yeah. Coming out further, we have some towers that are going to be flying on, our, on out and about. And as you can see, a lot more difficult to go on up. I'm okay. Issue the evacuation order across the capital. All army vessels can be used, including my private ones. Save as many as possible. You bust, sire. Don't mind me. Hurry, now! Moradin cannot hold, unfortunate though it may be. Majesty. Go! Fuck! Dear sister, if you are there, please, please, save more our day in the world. Your eminence, the foes have been sighted. The lost technology of old twin. How astounding it is that it still works. Surprised, eh? 
There are still a few of us hanging on. A survivor. Flesh Eater. You followed him down that dark path. Ha. Huh. In that case... Oh, nice try. But that's not gonna work on me. And that's because... You and I are the same. What? I am... A Blade Eater. Impossible! The Blade Eater technology is not known outside the Praetorium. You're right. But that doesn't mean you're the only one. Or have you forgotten what you did before in planting your core crystal? You don't mean you are one of the refugees from back then. But all of them were... Disposed of, right? Sure, you tried. But some of us weren't about to die that easily. I lived on. didn't even evacuate them. You're the same as ever, Amalthus. I'm sorry, but this is a fight. I can't back down from it. Uh. Desperation at not getting the Aegis. That man. What's his plan? Why would he be so intent on obtaining the Aegis? We've... we've got to do something to stop the Titans fighting. That's easy to say, but what can we do about it when they're all the way out there? Got it. The glowing pillars. Just then, when one of the pillars got wrecked, Amalthus' power got weaker for a moment. So if we smash the pillars, he'll lose control over the Titans. It's worth a shot. Okay, Mithra? And we only want to hit the pillars? Yeah. It's moving far too much. I can't get a clear shot. This isn't going to work. Oh, man. I know. Mithra. What? If we can get a little closer, we might be able to do something. Is that true, Pyra? Probably. Think back. Do you remember our fight against Jin? By rewriting the physical laws of the surroundings, we were able to match Jin's speed. If we rewrote them in the same way, in the midst of battle between those two... From our point of view, 
It'll be like they've frozen in place, huh? Okay. But how do we get there? Uh, Tora, I have good suggestion. Poppy, think you could grab Mithra and Rex Rex and carry up there? Yes, Poppy can carry two people, no problem. Ta-da! Okay, let's do it. Everyone else after Jin. Hang on. We don't have time to argue here. Don't worry. We're gonna make this work, right? Right. Rex Rex, please remember, Poppy booster time limited. Understood. We'll get as close as we can. Alright, we have our destination to go to. Upon heading through these areas though, going out further, look into these little side rooms. You will be able to find some decent stuff in here. So as you can see, the plot is exploding. This is the uh, glorious part of Xenoblade 2. Anyways, I'm going to fight this guy real quick because he's super useful for um, blade stuff. Alright, that guy is down. Oh, hello Giraffe Sovereign. Not who I was expecting up here, but I'll take it. Alright, not too bad. Alright, that Sovereign is down, thank goodness. So you're here at the Mazar Thoroughfare. Where you want to go from here is jump down to the bottom. Here we get a lot of enemies around here. I know it's going to have to fight that giraffe one way or another. Inside this chest here, legendary core, omega drive, and some really good stuff. Heck yeah. And up here, some uh, stuff for blade quests. So if you're missing, before entering this area, if you're missing anything of note, chances are these guys have it. Alright, those jokers are gone. Relatively all, relatively easy, all things considered. So yeah, so the Giraffe uh, Sovereign will like to patrol this little area here. And we are here at Mazar Elevator number 5. Heading on up. So yeah, so... Yeah. Now we're getting to the really cool area. Well, cool thematically. The gameplay portion, I prefer the lower area compared to the mid area, but... Things are really going to explode really soon. So here's a Margaret Sovereign. And a lot of uh, race cars too. Thankfully I was able to avoid them. So if you're unable to avoid them, you have to fight them in order to head forward. Sucks but meh. So as you can see, things are becoming a lot higher leveled. And waiting for these doors to open. Hey look! Haywire Phoebus! Another unique monster. So many unique monsters. Thankfully, this guy is relatively easy. Just do your thing. Poor Phoebus. Casual one million. Just woke up. And nice, Will of Wisp level five. I think that's enough for um Bridget to be maxed out, right? Nope, you're missing one. I can't wait to try. Who are you missing, anyways? Um. Okay, Spirit Lexos. You can find them all over outside. So we're finally getting to this to the next little area that will have those. You don't understand the beauty of so yeah. So we are really getting really close to the end here. So stepping on outside, things are really looking chaotic. Treasure acquired. Open this treasure trove. All right, jamming level five. Yeah. Things are really looking explosive. All that good stuff. So, we arrive here at the fifth per arriving. seventh perimeter skyport. Oh, this is where we were going. Going on further, this is going to be your last say, your last landmark until the end of this bridge. So you got to make your way all the way to the end. So coming right here is a new type of enemy, Indolent Sentinel. We'll get to one of those sooner or later. So yeah, so more Lilis are coming about here. This whole segment is just, it's amazing what those Switch can do. All this amazing stuff going on. I mean, looking all around, there's uh, Moradain, Tantal, Uriah, you can all see them around here. And just, presentation is, go is going at maximum. So, going on forward, we get, we're going to begin our unique monsters up here. 
first one. Where are you? Ah, uh, yes, there you are. So, no? I know you spawn here. Where are you? Nope, that's Minoceros. Ah, here you are. Praetorian Argus. Level 65. This guy just has a lot of health and can be nasty, but there's nothing really out there that I can think of about him. Just, I need, just another one of those Praetorian stars. So yeah. All right. So we've already fought one of these guys before, and all our stuff is getting chaotic. Ruinous weather. So I'll probably see you guys at the end of this battle. There's nothing really else to him, really. He's not that bad. Except he can topple. Oh, hello there, full burst. Yeah, I get dunked on. All right then. Farm the third punishment. And apparently something else that was around also got dunked on. Beautiful experience, three million. I love it. All right then. So, drops a lot of good stuff as you can see. Legendary core crystal. You can tell it's the end game. All right then. So, gather them a lot more stuff. So naturally, we just gotta head on forward. That's a nice little distraction, and that's not the only unique monster on this bridge. Yeah, there's a lot of Praetorian stars, however, though. So you can just trying to go on a bit further. So, blade bots are also going to be on the bridge. Somehow not engaged in the uh, enemy, but meh. So, next up, Praetorian Medea. The other unique monster here. So, and I'm going to be the last, last unique monster in battle. Alright. So, Praetorian Medea can be a little bit tricky. Just, just be careful when he does that. He does have an attack that will auto-break himself. Advance fire, you. Overkill, full burst, like 11, like 23,000 percent, sorry, 2,300. Yeah, I'll take my experience. This guy had a lot of health, but not terrible. I mean, the other guy was a little bit tougher because of Dragonstorm, but not too bad. I mean, 4 million, not too much. A lot of experience and a lot of good stuff, and Tiger Rage is now level 5. Very, very nice. So it drops a lot of very good stuff too. So going on to Drill Mark. Level 5, only ha just only need to fight, like what, one more Crustive or something like that? Oh yeah. One more Kustal. Very nice indeed. So, the last little bit, um, okay. Rather unexpected, so we have a, uh, um, star carrying a, uh, sentinel. So yeah, you don't really fight stars too much. I mean, the only star you really have to fight is the unique monster. So there's this pathway that leads underneath, so if you don't want to fight, there you go. All around, nothing really underneath here, just a way to avoid the unique monster. Just a little thing to note. So yeah, all the unique monster fighting... This whole set piece is just downright cool. Alright. So, we are almost there. It's just the final final jaunt. Avoid that wave, and we arrive here at the very end. Poppy! You're up! Poppy got it! Both friends, hold tight. Let's go. Rex and the Aegis? What are they doing? 
Unless... Open fire! Don't let them near! from here okay okay we're in a good spot let's go I've locked on siren Did it work? It stopped. Our chum's only gone and done it. Poppy do tour a proud. No problem at all, Master Pawn. Eminence, the amp towers are. Curse those fools. Do you even know what you've done? <gasps> Why? What are you hanging around here for? Go! That voice. Mick? That you? You're chasing Jin and Malos, right? I said go! Why would you... Beats me. I don't even know anymore. Mikhail... I really hate this world. Like, really. And humans, most of all. You used to be human. But you know what? There were people I loved, once. When I look at you guys, it reminds me of them. I wonder if the people I loved were still around. Would things be different? I wonder that. And I start doubting myself. Mikhail? It's Rex, right? Yeah. Have you found your answer? I have, and it's pretty spectacular. I see. Well then, I'll leave Jin to you. Now go. Get after him already. Tell him your answer.
What happened? Are you alone? Looks like the only survivor. These burn patterns don't look like Malice's handiwork. Must have been humans. Looting and pillaging while the world burns. Hey, it's okay. Would you like to come with us? You don't have to worry. Really. We're all good people. Promise. Can you walk? You can. Good going. Forgive us, Jin. We're going on ahead. Indol, it's... It's sinking. Never thought I'd see the day when a torn of all people would be saving our hides. Mikhail. We can't let his efforts go to waste. You're right. Let's go after Jen. I... I have to have a word with him about the answer I found. And with that, Indol has fallen. So, heading on forward, though, we arrive pretty much at the two-thirds of the way mark. We are almost through the world tree. I know it's been a long, Treasure it's been a long process, but we we're almost there. Some money, and right over here, you require electric mastering and focus in order to proceed. Another one of those segments where you actually, where you need uh, to open up blades in order to progress. So, we have a long series of doors ahead of us. Next time in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we chase after Jin. I will see you guys then.